What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. VGC is ruined. I got Michael with me. We're talking about the, the Ruination Quartet and how they're gonna be legal, not this month, but in one month from now, Regulation C, we'll call it Series 3 in the, in the title of the video. Uh, but yeah, Regulation C is Series 3. They changed the way that they named these things. You guys would stop getting confused when it was Season 4, but Series 3. Uh, and the only major rule change is that the uh, Ruination Quartet are now legal. Unfortunately, the new paradoxes are not for some reason, but yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content and answer my comment question of the day. Which of the Ruination Quartet are you going to use? But yeah, Michael, uh, which one are you going to use? It's ruined, bro. Golden Go usage is over because Chi Yu, my favorite mon ever is allowed, bro. It's time. This dude's crazy. I think he's going to like probably win the first regional. In my opinion, uh, I, my, okay, I like Chiyu. I don't think it's the best of the four. I'll tell I think you it's that. easiest to use. Like, I think that, like, all right, you know, here's here's my prediction: Chiyu plus Fluttermane and Don Dozo stuff in the back. That's my prediction. Let me ask you this: Which one of these four do you think is the best, like, competitively, most like strong? The most strong? Yeah. A little bit of a hot take, but I do think it's Mo Chan. <laughs> Okay, that is a hot take. But that is I'm a not, major hot take. No, here's why. I'm not here's too why. far off with you, though, because I'm, I'm, I'm on Team Tingle, it's, but we'll it's, get to him. It's Tapu Fini Celestila, uh, Brute Bonnet, Love Child. Yeah, that really is just, a byproduct of disgusting breeding. <laughs> yeah, no, you see, uh, you, see what, you see what I'm going with here? This thing getting Pollen Puff is a game changer, though, like, really. Yeah. I guess I guess we'll get right into it. Yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start off. We're just gonna like break down each one of these Pokemon, how they work, the common partners you probably see with them, uh, and yeah, uh, leave a like if you enjoy. And let, let's do this. All right, Wo Chen, we're just getting right into it. Hop right on him, jump yeah. in that big pile of leaves. So, wh what do you think about Wo Chen? As okay, I don't. I, this is so weird. This is the first time I've ever thought about this for a Pokemon. Right? It's like everything about the Pokemon sucks, but the ability. And one move it gets carries it so hard. Like typing, eh, take it or leave it, right? Yeah, lucky it offensive was this gen that it got introduced. Yeah, offensive stats, eh, take it or leave it. Like 95 special attacks, nice, but it doesn't have the grass moves to capitalize on that, right? It's got like what, Giga Drain. Yeah. It's not a good move. But tablets of ruin plus a move that can heal your partner plus a move that can heal you. <laughs> That's that's pretty good. That's I, I like that a lot right now. Yeah. All right. So if you don't know how like the ruination abilities work, uh, we have two defensive ruinations and two offensive ruinations. But it, ironically, the abilities these ones mess with offensive stats and these ones mess with defensive stats. But you'll see what I mean. So tablets of ruin on Chiyu will have every Pokemon on the field, including your partner, their attack stat is multiplied by 0.75. Effectively, you have a 25% decrease in your attack stat meaning everything is bulkier and they're harder to KO. So if you play this right, if you have like a special attacker next to it or you use this purely defensively, it's super, super like important for your team. Like you get so much value out of it. Like we were just messing around with a uh, Chi Yu plus Ting Lu Paris Trap team and it was kind of heat. It was kind of heat. Yeah. We had stuff like Arcanine living moves it definitely shouldn't have. Uh, and I think that it almost works as like a pseudo friend guard. Like we already know that like mouse hold. Yeah. That's a good way to say it. It's like friend guard. Like I was going to call it like an intimidate aura, right? Like auras yeah. as in Xerneas of Elthal. This is but... basically just the same as friend guard, but specific. Yeah. Because it's three quarters damage. Yeah, no, that's why. Yeah, because like it makes it so Pokemon just live stuff that they shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, it's and here's the, the weirdest part, right? Is that like in series two towards the end of it, right? Or well, currently, I should say. What's super popular right now is like Palafin, Bulky, Balance with like Arcanine, Amoongus, Iron Hands, like teams like that, right? That like really want to slow the pace of the game down. Mm -hmm. This thing just controls the speed of the battle, right? Like with Tablets of Ruin, with Leech Seed, with Pollen Puff, it, it decides when you're taking KOs, not the opponent. Right? Yeah, <laughs> and you definitely run it with like another Intimidate Pokemon. Like we're running Intimidate plus Wo Chan on that team we were testing. And literally, like, if you have a physical attacker in the field, if you see an Iron Hands and you intimidate them and you switch in Tablets of Ruin, they're doing nothing. Bro is doing no damage to you, and the, and that's what makes, like, the Leech Seed stall so crazy. Like, you're yeah, just I getting mean, you, all of your health back. And here's the thing. You live uh, Chien Pao's Ice Move super easily because of Tablets of Ruin, which is crazy because it's the same kind of concept, but offensively. But yeah, these guys yeah, basically I, cancel I, each other out. Like, they're, they're literally, like... 
they're Shen made Hao, to cancel each other. Yeah, it's, the, it's the weird. The defensive ones are made to counter the offensive ones. More or less. I it think... looks like they have like a reverse relationship where like Wo Chen has the type advantage, uh, but Chi Yu but, like is able to live yeah. a hit where, and then like Ting Lu yeah. has the type advantage and Chi Yu just goes down. So it's like, yeah, almost they like they the gave abilities, them relationships. Yeah. Yeah. The abilities cancel each other out to be able to handle each other better. Which, I mean, currently because the meta is favoring something more bulky and something more balanced, Wu Chen does fit into that, right? Like, mm -hmm. Yo, wait. I don't Mouse think... hold Wu Chen. <laughs> yeah, man. Why not? I, here's the thing. I don't think Wu Chen is ever going to be an Amoongus replacement. I don't think... No. Like, we saw that with Brute Bonnet. It's just not going to do that. Yeah. So... <laughs> but it's still good on certain teams, I'll say. Yeah, and I mean, like, it doesn't have to be an Amoongus replacement, because... It, it has tools that Amoongus doesn't. For one, knockoff. Amoongus yeah. does not have knockoff. Removing assault vests, foul removing play, berries. Even. Yeah, it has foul play. Well, Amoongus has foul play, but it doesn't have like stab foul play. Um, yeah. It has Ruination. access to. Yeah, Ruination is another big one. Uh, you can run that, and what it's basically just like uh, Super Fang. Super Fang. Yeah. And, so. and we see right now uh, usage on Mousehold. Like that fifth Ruination Pokemon you have on the screen right now, right? Like that's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing gets is dual screens, Super doesn't it? Fans, yeah, it gets dual screens, which is kinda hot. Honestly, a little bit hot. Both. I think the it main thing taunt. is it's just like a Pokemon that sits in the field. I think it's literally it gets most of its value off of Leech Seed and Pollen Puff. Like Amoongus yeah. gets Snarl, Pollen Puff, but it doesn't get Leech Seed. Snarl's another big one. Snarl's huge too, yeah. Cause it basically like you already have the tablets of ruin, making it so your like physical defense stat is effectively like, you know. 25% higher kind of the math doesn't work out exactly like that your special defense that's already super high but you can like bolster that even more if you wanted to say run an assault vest set and you have like ruination pollen puff um giga drain you'd probably want a grass move on yeah that. you would want like just full special attack but i think you would still run knockoff yeah yeah so you would run like, like, it's cool that its support moves are offensive moves that's why you're like you're justified in saying the assault vest like is a good set yeah like and like i said at the beginning 95 is not like bad that's not disrespectful right like that's a that's a very respectable uh, attack stat to be hitting with mm -hmm. hold on i'm trying to find the jump so i can make like an actual like hey if you want to run assault let's try this out there you go there's the jump cool yeah there you go Wo yeah. chen spread fun fact uh Wo chen's hp stat 85 that's actually if you max it out it is a perfect optimized leftovers um leftovers hp stat it's nice. divisible by um 16. nice nice i will say of these guys probably the only one that's gonna want the leftovers yeah i think Ting i mean Tinglu could justify it but like dude the assault vest on Tinglu. let's move on yeah, to yeah. Uh, yeah 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 this guy is this guy's the one you want to be putting the assault vest on yeah if, if, you, if you if you're an assault vest i've seen Ting Lu take like life orb overheat from chi yu and it does like 49 percent you can probably figure out a way to beat Pelipper with this. <laughs> I'm not gonna 100%, lie. Like, <laughs> dude. All right, and here's here's a set that I came up with, and I, I legitimately think I'm the first guy to come up with this because I came up with it like a month ago and I finally got to tweet it today. <laughs> um, but I've been looking into Oko moves for an essay video I'm writing right now, uh, and I'm like learning their mechanics, and Fissure is like a really strong move on Ting Lu because let's be honest, there aren't a lot of other moves you want to run. Throat chops are really good, and I think that um you definitely run Heavy Slam to one-shot Fluttermane, right? Yeah, just because it's so common right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, and it's also like a really heavy Pokemon. This guy's crazy heavy. But Fissure, yeah. Throat Chop, Heavy Slam, what's your reliable ground stab? Stomping Tantrum. Because basically, if you want to fish for that Fissure, it's like a now or later, dude. Like, it's literally like, okay, do you want to get KO'd this turn? Or do you want to get KO'd next turn? <laughs> Stomping Tantrum is it's funny that it's the, the like only like its strongest ground step like reliable move. Yeah, isn't but it like the same base power as like Hyper Beam? Yeah, it's the same power as hitting it with like a like a ground type hyper uh not hyper beam, but like Giga Impact. And you so you run uh Stomping Tantrum just to one hit Chi Yu, right? Like the that's the only reason it's there. Because mm -hmm. any other any anything else that you want to be hitting with a ground type move, say like Gold Bango or like let's say like terra steel dondozo or something right big bulky guys that are gonna sit there you wall them you have the assault vest you have the vessel of ruin you're you have probably an intimidator on the team uh, yeah you keep you get the luxury of being able to sit in the field and spam fissure like you have better odds that way 100 so. percent, dude and he also has like a ton of other well, from what i want to point this out before Ooh. again it's like the other tools but like this dude is the size spam eater he's the oh, yeah. size spam Good sheriff luck. dude 
rest in peace pour one out for Ndidi Armourouge. We just got four really good dirt types. <laughs> Bro, look, I'm not going to pour one out for an Ndidi Armourouge team, but I'll tell you, there's going to be some liquid of mine hidden in that grave. Um, I hate that team, dude. <laughs> I hate that team. But yeah, uh, yeah, honestly, like this guy has like crazy tools. Whirlwind, if you want to be crazy, I don't know if like, you can use that to prevent Trick Room, I guess, if you're like, you know, faster than the Trick Room setter. But um, other moves. Rock Tomb actually isn't Rock that bad. Rock Tomb is really cool. I just saw that it got that. Yeah, like, I didn't know it got that until right now. That's, it's good that's speed cool. control, dude. Like, if you're running, like, Ting Lu versus, um, let's say you have, like, a Booster Energy Flutterman. You can do, like, Booster Energy Flutterman plus Ting Lu. I guess you wouldn't do that, actually, now that I think about it. Because, you know, let's say you have, like, a fast Pokemon plus Ting Lu, and you want to outspeed, like, a Booster Energy um, Iron like Bundle. Like, yeah, yeah, you protect Rock Tomb. Bundle's never going to KO you with Hydro Pump. Uh, no, never. Just, it, yeah. Like, in the bundle player's mind, they'd be like, oh, let me click the move that will do the most amount of damage to this ground type with bad spadef. No. It has assault vest, it has an ability. It's like it's almost like its special defense stat is better than its physical defense. It doesn't even have bad spadef that. though. Like it has 155 oh, HP, respect. dude. Look at Iron Hands. Yeah. Iron Hands lives crazy hits with 68 spadef, and he's got yeah. one less HP. Yeah, dude. Like this guy, this is why I said at the beginning, I think this is the strongest uh, Ruination guy. Yeah, he's going to be really that. good. I think he's going to be very spammable. Well, actually, I think feels like Hyper Offense is going to be like a lot more common on ladder than it is in tournament. I think this guy's going to be the most tournament common Pokemon in this yeah, guy. These are going to be the most ladder common. I agree with that. I've and this guy's going to have the greatest, like, th this guy's going to have like the best results to usage ratio, in my opinion. I think Chi Yu Chien Pao is going to have like the... Um... Murkrow Gold Dengo treatment at the beginning of the format where that was like mm -hmm. the most used thing and then slowly as time progressed then like Ting Lu as in like the Palafin slot or right, if you want to call it like that where it's bulky it's strong it just creeps in at the end and it's just like hey I've been here the whole time and I've been the best <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> also Ting Lu plus Iron Hands isn't a bad combination because Iron Hands has like a bad spit off stat so yeah it becomes just like crazy fast, especially if you're like AV in the Iron Hands. And, or and he, here's the other craziest part, right? Is that like people have been at such an all time starvation for ground types that people were dipping into like Sandy Shocks. Like what, what were we really doing, right? But now we have Nothing. a dedicated good ground type. Outside probably the of best ground type. Right? Like Great Tusk beats yeah. this 1v1 ironically, but like this is probably still the best ground type that you can throw onto whatever team. It's just like, I feel like the Ruination Pokemon are like high skill cap, low skill ceiling. Or low skill floor, high skill ceiling, because it's like the average player can throw a Wo Chen on their team, but if they're like putting Wo Chen next to an Iron Hands, they're not doing any damage. Ting Lu, if they're putting Ting Lu next to like a Fluttermane, they're not doing any damage. Like they're hurting themselves. A player with like good board positioning can make these Pokemon like demonically strong. Yeah, especially when something like Gothitelle is legal, or not legal, but like used as common as it is currently. Yeah, like, Gothitelle sucks are going up like insanely. Um, Which might take a little bit of a hit because, you know, four dark types, but like, I, I think it's still good. <laughs> like, yeah, it's still gonna be crazy. Uh, one more thing. I want to talk about like the best Terra types for these. These are my opinions. Michael, be, be sure to throw in your opinion too. I think the best Terra type for Wo Chen is 100% Fairy. I can see it. You get the Fighting Resist. Um, you're still weak to Poison, but Poison's not like a super common offensive thing. It's more like a defensive Terra type that Pokemon run. Uh, oh, and versus... And you get like a dark resist if that like matters too much. Uh, it's mostly just for the fighting resist, to be honest. You could do Terra Poison as well. Same concept as like Garganical in Series 1. Yeah, yeah. But it's like... You resist all of the weaknesses that you have. Yeah, I think the only reason you do it on Terra Poison on this guy specifically is just like... I don't know. Like it, it doesn't share any weaknesses with Grass. But it doesn't like... I don't know. I, I don't want to have to like lose to Ting Lu. It's like the whole deal. Do you know? You do. You do. Your Wo Chen. This is a Ting Lu. It can like go for stomping tantrums. It just makes the matchup easier. I don't know between Leech Seed and Giga Drain, bro. That might be enough. <laughs> Maybe I, you don't run Giga Drain though. You run like knockoff. Yeah. All right. Po point is, I think that Fairy is probably the best right now. Yeah. Something defensive. You're never yeah, gonna yeah. go an offensive uh, Terra on Wo Chen. On Ting yeah. Lu though, I'm gonna give my opinion on this one first. I will say I can see Terra Blast Ground with Ground Terra being a thing. Why just would you do that? You're stomping Tantrum. Just, it's 75. Only because, only because you want something a little bit stronger. I don't know. I can see no, it. Maybe no, even no, Earthquake. No, no. All right. I, there are two Terras in my mind. Fire. I don't think it'll be the common one. Yeah. Fire, so you don't lose to Fairy Mons. Um, but you could also make the case that Poison's better because Poison gets you the Fighting Resist versus Iron Hands. 
Uh, and it also makes it so you don't lose to Palafin. Where fire you would. I think Let's poison's like good on them. But yeah, th those are my opinions for those guys. Uh, I, I really like fire. Yeah, fire makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. You also, also dodge also burns. Ice too, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you like 100% beat Chiyu. Do you want to do the terror type first just because keep the train moving? Yeah, uh, it's either fire or grass. It's totally grass, dude. Because like I was thinking about it. Palafin. This guy might want... Yeah, Palafin won, but this guy might want safety goggles mm -hmm. eventually off in the future because it's like... Amoongus is probably going to be able to live a heat wave spread, potentially. Maybe not from Life Orb, but like maybe like Arcanine Amoongus finds a way to snarl you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like Tinglu Amoongus that's boosting the spit F3 Vessel of Ruin. Uh, you don't want to get slept on the guy that's supposed to be doing a lot of damage with Chiyu. Yeah. So, dude, grass, I think... plus it gives you a way to hit Tinglu, which is even crazier. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think that like Friend Guard Mousehold Chiyu is going to be a thing later on because yeah. you can do like. yeah no i like this a lot and you know what she you gets nasty plot as well which i mean we're we're seeing that oh, right wait, now that's that one crazy of biggest, one of the biggest like trends right now that's winning a lot is uh is golden go mouse hold and so you she set up with golden that. go well you she beats it right so it's probably not going to be there anymore but she is going to replace the golden go and mouse hold still going to be there so you could nasty plot with follow me uh mouse hold next to with like with Chiyu you still get a spread move you still get a really strong single target move I, I don't know I, I think this is natural progression of golden goat yeah mouse hold. your thoughts on this and, set it, uh very strong I think you might want protect yeah over protect over terror, terror blast sometimes but it, it's it depends yeah yeah and mouse will just but, next that seems crazy but yeah um just, yeah teams that you see with like Chiyu uh, Chi Yu plus Fluttermane is going to be a thing that we see immediately when the ladder goes live. I, I think that's going to be like the most spam team at the beginning. Uh, until people One realize that like yeah. it's very easy to beat because when you lead off Chi Yu Fluttermane, you lose to speed control and Palafin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very namely with that one, right? With, with Chi Yu Fluttermane. Yeah, like Everyone, you can lead off with it, but like if you get even like Scarf, right? It, Talonflame is the best Tailwind setter right now. If you see a Talonflame and a Great Tusk, you lose. Yeah, that, but also. If you see like an iron bundle, you're significantly weaker to it. The, yeah, the beads of dude. ruin dropping your own partner special de uh, defense stat is really bad for Fluttermate because that's yeah. it's one of special defense is Fluttermate one of three good stats on Fluttermate. Like you don't want to be giving a buff to something that only has three good stats. You know, mm -hmm. like you don't want to make Fluttermate any less bulky than it is. And it, and I think Sash is the best item on Fluttermate currently, but you don't want to be activating it all the time and then dying to something like sand chip or like um i don't know anything like that like a low base power priority move you don't want that so yeah i i think I, that i, I think yeah. i think I'm that like you. the place that she's gonna have in the metagame like overall by the end of it um is it's just gonna be like it's gonna do what iron moth does for flutter main dozo teams yeah like it's, it's just it's like just that. like a, a slightly less specific iron moth and i think that's really the place it has obviously it has like crazy potential you can run this in like sun teams if you really want to go crazy um oh, it like yeah. beats oh, everything gosh. with like a not good special defense stat it can like one shot golden go it's probably gonna make golden go stocks go way down in my opinion uh I've but it's still gonna that, be a great yeah. mon so I think, I think golden go will still end up finding a way just because it can tear it into something else but also it probably is good into another evil that we'll get to yeah <laughs> golden go uh uh finds a way uh yeah <laughs> All right. Nothing. Nothing with that ability can be bad. Yeah. All right. And then we have Chen Pao, Michael. I I do not care for Chen Pao. You can you can take this section. I also don't care for Chen Pao. So let's ask the viewers. Hey, hey viewers, what's your favorite Chen Pao set? Because I'm never using this thing. I, that said, it's not bad, right? This is I think probably going to be more consistent than Chi Yu. That might be a little bit of a hot take. But you want to hear think... my real hot take with it? What's that? Dragonite um, plus Chen Pao, broke, not good. Palafin Rain plus Chen Pao, yeah, yeah. Stupid. That's why I'm saying, yeah. That's why I'm stupid, team, dude. That's why I think Chen Pao edges out so stuff like Chiyu a little bit, only because, uh, I think dropping like your partner's defense is, you can get away with that more than dropping your partner's special uh, defense. Yeah, and yeah. with something as insane as palafin like series three isn't changing too too many things from series two 
Uh, so the upward trend of Palafin winning everything and being super good right now, you add Chi, uh, Chien Pao's sort of ruin on top of that. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> like, by the way, we should yikes. have said this. Chi Yu drops special defense. Chien Pao drops defense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, it has like crazy coverage. It doesn't get close combat, but it gets sacred, it gets sacred sword, sword, which yeah, ignores which... defense drops. So like this thing can Dondozo. shred a Dondozo. It also gets yeah. haze. It's another haze user that outspeeds Dondozo. Um, which is also good for Palafin. That allows Palafin to run the close combat instead because people are putting haze on Palafin. You don't like. Yeah. Like, honestly, do you want to hear? Do you want to hear my crazy stinky hot take on this guy? What's that? Don't run sash on it. Really? What, what, what would you run? Okay. Unironically, the offensive guys do be getting good support moves, like yeah. icy wind, like snarl. I know Chi Yu gets will o wisp too. Like I could even see that being a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that what you do is you like hit the you hit the speed tie with like Fluttermain, right? And then you just calc to one shot Fluttermain, whatever the the stat you need or like whatever you need to like one shot. Let's say you hit like one forty eight, and then just like do this, dude. Just screw it, right? Yeah. Become become fat. Like, I get that your, like, typing isn't, like, good, but you can make it good. Become a fire type, dude. Yeah. I will say, I think if people ever start to pigeonhole themselves and only run dark and ice moves on this thing, I think it isn't going to feel as good as it otherwise could be. I think you might need to be running Sacred Sword because you don't... The last thing you want is to be walled by Chi Yu, the one without the defense stat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you like, can one-shot Chi Yu. Not you can just straight up one-shot it. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, even the ice move does like 60 if you're both no bulk, but like, yeah, I I, I still think you want to be able to hit stuff like steals, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, if we just look at like what's popular right now, it's like, what is it? This guy like annihilates Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon has no options versus this. Yeah. Like if, if people start putting Ice Shard or Sucker Punch on this thing, I think he's winning. Yeah, it'll really start to find its niche. But why does it get recovered? Psychic Fangs, man. You have a way to hit Dark types and Psychic Fangs. That's crazy. Yeah, honestly, I think, I think Taunt <laughs> on Taunt over Protect on Focus Sash. That's low key. Yeah, like this thing is gonna need to get experimented with. I think people are gonna try to do like what you were saying with Dragonite Chimpao, super early, but figure I think out that it it's not that good. Well, it's good. It's it's good. It's just not gonna be as like. It's, yeah, it's not going to win a tournament. It's just going to be like solid on ladder. Yeah, I will eat my words if Chi Yu Fluttermane or. Okay, I can see Chi Yu Fluttermane, but if Chimpao Dragonite wins a tournament, I'll, I will eat my words. It's too predictable, <laughs> bro. Like, literally, like, you, you get like beaten by. Steel type? Yeah, it's just steel type. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably going to be it for today. We, we covered everything pretty well. Um, if you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe, make sure you check out Michael's link. He has one video. It was about Palafin, and he was right. Um, check my Twitter instead. Yeah, I'm more of a I'm more of a creator there. <laughs> check out Michael's thumbnail, which is going to be on this video, because Michael is not only a friend of the channel but also the artist. So, here, yeah, I work here. Yeah, he works here. <laughs> if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Take care.